Good morning, people. This is Tuesday, 18th of May, 2022. I'm in stop at the junction of the A367 and the A362. I'm just going to do a short video of where I stood and a little bit of history that I know of. Anything I don't know about, um, just ask, or if you know anything, uh, put it in the comments below. First of all, we pan round. Here we have what is now the Riverbank Cafe, which you see on the there, it's got stationery. Now, whether it was a stationery, I don't know. But I do know it used to be... I right, now I'm already gone off start again. I do know that it used to be Moon's news agent. And it used to be a very busy news agent too. But I suppose... With the advent of so much traffic and they're putting the jewelry yellow lines, people couldn't stop there. So, business just dried up. So now then, um, the Riverbank Cafe is a, is a wonderful cafe. Oh, these women warriors. I can recommend anybody to, to go you go in there. So there's the road to Froome. Uh, this is the XGWR land which they've uh, redeveloped. That's just a little part of the regeneration of Red Stock. I'll let you judge what you think of it. No, no, Rory. I thought I'd come early, miss the traffic. Anyway, there you go. That's the road to get the mallet. And um, everywhere down south. I oh, don't talk about that place. There's the road there. It goes to uh, Christopher Norton, Fountain Gurney, Porton. Parking Gurney, you can go left to Wells and get the Mallet or right towards Bristol. Go around again. There we have a bike it. Bike shop. The Loft. And Athena Street Restaurant. I'll just move along a little bit more. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'll just swing back round here and there you can see Wellow Brook on its way to join up with the River Raven and then it flows through Bath, Sortford, Bristol, under the Spectrum Bridge and out into the Bristol Channel. So Back, back there. And there's the memorial gardens. Here we have the, uh, the museum. Okay. So I'm doing, I'm doing a video. Right. Yeah, the museum in the background used to be the market place, which was a bustling place back in the year. Then we have the wheel, the miner's wheel, which is the last miner's wheel from the colliery when the colliery is closed. Around here, the building in front of us is, or was, the Bell Inn. 
Right, there's the road to Bath, the old Roman road, the Foss Way. Notice how straight it is. Here we have what is now called the Rastock Hotel, but in the day it was always the water graze. And behind there they used to pay, the miners used to pay quoits and various, various other things. The building in front there uh, used to be uh, Beaters, the the, uh, uh, the cobblers and um, saddlers. They used to haul leather goods for um, horses and obviously shoes and boots and um, repairs and so on. I think at one time they might have done. Um, guns and, and that as well. So this here, that gap there, is where the Somerset and Dorset Railway ran from Bath right down to down south, down the south coast somewhere. Bournemouth maybe. And that there, through the Memorial Gardens, is where it ran to Bath. And of course, here, across the road, there was a level crosshead. And also, just up the end of Bicet there, is where the um, GWR line from Froome into Bristol used to run. There was also a cross in there. So you can imagine the chaos there used to be when they were closed. I mean today I'd be mean, God knows what would happen today. Anyway that's my little uh, tour around the centre of uh, this bit of the centre of Bradstock. If you have any comments, just pop them in below. Thank you very much.